Hi, I'm Lauren from the Number One Bead Shop and in this video today I'm going to be showing you the many different uses that our glass crystal connector beads can be used for in jewellery making. I'm going to show you some samples of rings, earrings, necklaces and bracelets today. In this first demonstration I'll be showing you how to create a ring using our Diamante Crystal glass connector beads. Here are some finished examples at the back. To make this ring, it's very simple. You just need to choose your glass crystal connector bead and a ring base. You can use a 401 glue or an E6000 glue to create the rings. All you want to do is put a helping of glue onto the ring base, just like so. I will then take my glass connector bead, place it on top of the ring base and then going to turn it upside down and just make sure that the back is centered on the bead like that. Using the E6000 glue I will now leave that for a full 24 hours for the glue to cure. It doesn't matter if any spills because once that glue is dried you can then pick it off very easily. Here are some finished examples of the rings once they are completed and as you can see once the glue is set it is very strong. Next I am going to show you how to make these beautiful earrings using a teal teardrop shape glass connector bead. Very easy and very quickly quick to make. We take our chosen glass connector bead, I'm going to use a teal teardrop shape. Now as you can see at the top, there's lots of spaces for jump rings to fit in and this is what makes them so easy to connect. I'm going to take a 6mm jump ring. Using my pliers, I'm going to open my jump ring, like so. And through the top connecting spaces of the teardrop, I just thread my jump ring through. I'm then going to take my earring finding, put the jump ring through the loop at the bottom, close the jump ring together. There we go. I now have a beautiful crystal Diamante earring. This next example I'm going to show you is using the glass crystal connector beads in bracelets. A very elegant and simple design is this one here. It looks absolutely beautiful when on. It's created very easily just using some jump rings and some chain. We take our first crystal connector bead, take our jump ring, Opening it up, same as the teardrop earring, you can see at the side there's lots of different spaces for the jump rings to be connected to these beads. So we're just going to put the jump ring through one of the connector pieces. I'll then pick up my second one and putting the jump ring through the same two holes, like so, and then just going to turn it over just so I can see the underneath side. Thread the jump thing through. Once the jump ring is connected through the two beads, I'm then just going to close it back together again, just by squeezing it closed. There we are. That's two of the crystal connector beads joined together. And then going to attach my third one. So again, taking my jump ring, Going to open it up. The, the same two holes on the side matching the same two holes on my other bead. Turn it over just so I can see to thread it through. And then I'm going to close my jump ring together. Just make sure it's tight. There we are. I now have my three pieces 
connected together. To finish this bracelet off, you're just going to use a bit of chain. Now I've already attached a lobster clasp using a split ring to one end of the chain. To the other end, I just take a jump ring, open it up using my pliers. The same two middle sections of the connector bead, the jump ring goes through, through my last link of my chain. And we just close the jump ring back up to make sure that nothing falls off. Here we are, and just again, make sure that it's tight. You would then just repeat that process for the other side of your bracelet. And then that's how you end up with this lovely glass diamante connector bead bracelet. Another example is this one here. It is using the exact same technique using jump rings, although this time we're also using six millimeter glass connector beads and four millimeter jump rings as well in between the larger ones just to make this more elaborate piece here which is also absolutely beautiful. Do the exact same. These six millimetre glass connector beads have the same sections in the bottom like that. And you can see three spaces, which means you can connect jump rings from all sides of them to create beautiful patterns like this. Same again, what you would do is you just take your jump ring, this time a four millimetre one, we would open it up and you would just put the jump ring through the sections of this little six millimeter bead like that. You can then join them together just as I'm going to do here. Like so, just by linking them together, closing the jump rings off and you can link the six millimeter connectors together. Because they've got three spaces in which to attach a jump ring, it means that you can create beautiful patterns like this one here. This beautiful necklace here is created using the same way that we created the bracelet using the chain. It's just jump rings joining all the glass connectors together in a various pattern. If I turn it over, you can just see the jump rings in between all the crystal connector beads to make beautiful patterns, to make beautiful large statement pieces like this necklace here. 